and welcome to Chair Interval Training, brought to you safely in your home by Community Access Yellow Springs. You can also reach that channel on YouTube. Search for Community Access Yellow Springs and you can watch these shows anytime you like. This is also a class made possible by the Yellow Springs Senior Center because we are so fortunate to have their services in our small but mighty community. All right, and me, Lynn Hardman, your Silver Sneakers and Flex Instructor. You don't have to have Silver Sneakers, but it's a 27-year-old program now that uh, partners with Medicare to provide the best medicine, exercise. <laughs> All right, let's get started with this exercise program. It's chair interval training, so we'll be standing up, sitting down, fight, fight, fighting, modifying, adapting, but never giving up. All right, so, Consult your physician before you begin this or any exercise program. And if you feel out of balance or dizzy at any time, it's recommended you remain in your sturdy chair or return to it. So you'll need a couple things. We're gonna use hand weights today for our strength intervals, all right? So I've got a jug, a gallon and a quarter, filled with about three quarters worth of water, and that'll make about close to 10 pounds. And I've got some water on hand, and perhaps you've got some elastic tubing. Other than that, all you're going to need is your best attitude, your best posture, whether you're seated or standing, to make our movements easier and our breathing easier. I've got some music. It's a little bit upbeat. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to go at your own pace. If anything hurts, please do not do it. Modify, adapt or do your best and then take a rest. Here we go. So we always get started with a gradual warm up. As I said, whether you're seated or standing, use your best posture by elongating your spine, making more room for your lungs to breathe better. We do need to exercise our lungs. And our spine functions best when it's elongated. So stretch the crown of your head up to the heavens. But you just keep your body moving. Double check your area. Make sure there's nothing you might slip, trip, or fall on. It's best to do this workout in sturdy, supportive sneakers. If you're diabetic, you must wear shoes to protect your feet. You can march it out whether you're seated or standing and swing those arms gently at first and then see how it feels to make it bigger. Good, all right. Let's try a little bit marching slightly behind our chair so we've got some room to move here and be able to see and touch our chair. It's our home base for safety because we're going to work on the ABCs, agility, balance, and coordination. So this is our safety check. Let's just lift those knees up with our march. We're just warming up. So you want to start small and gradually increase and explore your safe, comfortable range of motion today. If you don't need that balance check, you can take it to both arms. Lift the opposite arm with the leg to better engage your body and brain together. These are single knees. Later on, we're going to do doubles and fours and eights in patterns. But let's just warm up, bring both feet to the ground, maybe a hip width stance, and sink into a mini squat. Tailbone going back, crown of head still reaching for the skies. Gentle hip, knee, and ankle flexion. Got your chair for a balance check, or take it to both arms. Oh, that feels good. If it doesn't, Move any way that does feel good to you. 
Now let's see if we can push up into the balls of our feet. And we might move that chair. We can reach with the other arm if we like. If our balance is rock solid, we can reach with both. Good, warming up those calves and the feet as well. Let's march it out again. Take it slightly behind our chair. And just rock side to side. Pull those shoulders up toward the ears one at a time. Or both. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed healthy, happy holidays at home. By the time you see this, it'll probably be 2021. Holy cow. <laughs> Let's open and close the chest. Ooh. Very nice. How about reaching across the body, pulling the navel in toward the spine to support it. And reach and rotate a little through your torso. All right. Well, I'd like to preview a couple patterns that we're going to use for our cardiovascular intervals. One we've done plenty of times, and it sounds like a good winter activity. I call it skate, fly. You'll want to be behind your chair, and we'll start out very slow, but this one's a lot about balance and patterns and coordination and lung and heart strength. So we're gonna take our right foot and just slightly cross behind and then the left. Now, if you're directly behind your chair, you've got it as your balance check. I'm gonna be slightly over here up to the right so you can see what I'm doing. Keeping the head and chest high, going nice and slow until, and you can always go at your own pace. But let's try it at tempo, cross behind. It feels like I'm skating along a canal, perhaps, in the Netherlands. Actually, the canals don't freeze very regularly anymore, so they can't have their annual winter skating games. All right, this is skating. Well, we're going to do four more. Three, two, then we're going to lift our heels up and fly. Good. Four more. Three, two, skate. We'll try it for eight. Four more. Three, two, and then we'll cut it down to fours. Skate again. After we do sets of fours, we'll cut it down to twos. Two skating, two flying. And we'll cut it down again to singles and it'll look like this down up or skate fly skate fly and then we'll work on our balance you got it more of that coming i wanted to show that to you but we're going to continue to warm up in our seat if you bring your body to the front of your chair if you're not already there really physically touch the chair with your feet and your lower legs that way, as you hinge your hips back and keep your head up, you won't miss the landing strip. Oh, wow. Now, as soon as you're ready, you can just have a seat. Little note, when we reach down low, whether we're getting our weights or our water, whether we're doing our exercise program or not, we want to use our head and be intentional step into the side leaning to the side supporting and this protects our spine and our lower back muscles staying hydrated is super important so we'll be taking frequent breaks um, for water between each of our intervals i'll also be frequently reminding you about your posture and our intensity so as you sit towards the front edge of your chair, 
I want you to think of a scale starting with one to ten to gauge the proper intensity for you today. One would be the lowest intensity and ten would be the maximal. So we're going to try to maintain a happy medium of say four to seven, possibly eight. When you get to eight, that means you're not going to be able to sustain it and we need to slow down. All right. So, more on that later, sitting tall. Let's place our hands on our lap and tap our heels. And bounce the heels of our hands off of our lap as well. We gotta work on wrists and ankles. They're important for our everyday activities. Now, let's take those heels and elbows out and lift the hands off the lap. And just rotate through our shoulders, chest, spine a little, pull the navel in. Spread your fingers wide. I know it feels like the funky chicken. <laughs> good. And remember, if it doesn't feel good to you, you can just slow it down or substitute any movement that makes you feel like you're getting more limber. That's great. Motion is lotion. All right. Let's take those toes and heels and walk them out. Toes and knees are going to point the same direction. Please, for best joint health. And we're going to gently open the hips. Breathe deep, elongate the spine. Hinging slightly forward and gently uh, providing a stretch for those inner thighs. Rotate your shoulder on the right from the back pocket to the front. And then likewise on the left. Deep breath. It helps when we're exercising to breathe in through the nose, like we're smelling our favorite aroma. Stretch out that right leg. Sit tall. So breathe in through your nose as you fill your lungs from the bottom to the top. Support on the thighs as you hinge forward and blow out an imaginary candle. For good luck, or better yet, good news, good health, and peace in 2021. Gently flex those toes up, keep your chin up. Gentle hamstring stretch. And let's do the same on the left side. Support on the right, breathe in and up. It's time for us to get moving with a little bit more vigor if you like. But remember, moving regularly at a very low intensity is much better than moving every so often at a high intensity and not having that training effect or the, the agility and the limberness that we need to move safely. So you can do this pattern, this next pattern in your chair. I showed you at the very beginning we were doing knee lifts. Now those of you out there that want to be on your feet, go ahead, take your time, get on up, and come on over to the left side of your chair here. Make sure you can see it and touch it, pull your navel in, stretch your head up. We're doing singles, four more, three, two, how about double it up, two here, and two here. Now we're balancing, but you can always tap your toe down or grab your chair if you need it, right? Let's try doubling it up again for four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one. Good. You may have noticed I skipped a beat there. Four, three, two, do your best. Good. Now we're going to do a little pattern. It's called double. Double, four, three, two, one, double, double, now four, three, two, one, good, double, keep moving, I'm going to transition to my feet, four, three, two, double, 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 pull the navel in, four, three, Two. So we're balancing for quite a long time when we do those double of those fours. Four, three, two, one. Good. Double. We can always tap that toe down if we need it. Four, 
three, pull the navel in, you got this. Double, double. If you don't have this, you got your balance check, your chair. Double, double, four, three, two. Let's do one more set like this. We'll take a little break. Four, three, two. Shake your legs out. Maybe you felt that a little here on those thighs. Tops of the thighs, fronts of the thighs. So let's move behind our chair, or if you're in your chair, widen out your stance. And let's just try lifting our heels up towards our hips. Just myself here. Keep the chest up. Keep a wide stance to involve maximal hips and thigh muscular action. You can row with it. Both hands if you're steady. One hand if you need a balance check. Or both hands on your chair. You know you. Do your best. These are singles. Four more. Three, two. Let's double up. Double. Double. Now fours. Four. Three, two. You got it? Double. Double. Four. Three, two. Pull that navel in. Double. Double. Four. Three, two. All right. Double. Double. Four. Three, two. I had to tap down that time. Double. Double. These are challenging. They should be challenging. Because if we don't challenge ourselves a little bit, we can't expect any training effect. Let's do it again. Double. Double. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Feel those hamstrings. Feel those hips working. Four. Three. Two. Double now. Double. Double. Four. Three. Two. Let's do one more set of these. I'm feeling it in my thighs. Four, three, two. March it out. Woo! Shake a leg. Lift her up. Do your best. If you need to take a little break, do it. Listen to your body. How are you doing on that scale of one, lowest intensity, and to 10, highest intensity? Are we in that desired zone for safe training? Four to seven or eight? Can you talk? Great. Let's try it over here on the right side. With just a little kick. So let's just try just kicking right and left. Pulling up through the spine. It, can be, it doesn't have to be a high kick. We're not trying to be like the Rockets. <laughs> you can use that opposite arm. But stay safely within reach and where you can see with your peripheral vision, your chair. So we're just doing a little single flicky kicks. Let's try four more singles. Three, two. Now double, double. I'm having trouble with the rhythm today. <laughs> Have you noticed? Double, now we're balancing. Double, double. Double, double. You ready to apply that double, double, four? Double, double. This is our pattern. Four, three, two. Just balancing. Double, double, four, three, two. Again. Double, double, four, three, two. Good. Double. Double. We've been doing it with a little bent knee. I think I missed the pattern up. Double. Double. I'm a little distracted, if you could tell. Let's march it out. I'm expecting important company today. My grandson. Okay. So, best posture. We're going to try this pattern one more way for some good aerobic activity, but we're also going to build our balance and our hip strength because the two are intertwined. The better your leg and hip strength, 
and foot and ankle strength, the better your balance will be. So let's practice behind our chair. This time, wide hip width stance, sink into that little mini squat, softening your knees. We're gonna keep the legs long and dorsiflex the feet and just try some hip openers, hip abduction. Good. Four, three, two, double, double, four, double, double, four, three, two, and double, double, four, three, keep that foot, dorsal flex, double, building hip strength, double, building balance, four, three, two, Woo. double, double, four, three, Two, one more set. We can do this. Double, double, four, three, two. How about one more? Double, double. Unless you say no and you're right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Our hips got a little bit tired there, I'll bet. That dull, achy soreness that you might feel in the muscle along the side of the outer thigh and hip, that's called momentary muscular fatigue. And it means we're almost to the goal of training our muscle to be stronger the next time. But most important to our training is our recovery. And we're gonna do some active recovery using those same muscles, but not in a cardiovascular way. So come to the front of your chair if you're not already there. We're going to do some squats using our body weight. Touch the chair with your lower legs and your feet. Hinge those hips back. Keep the head up. Hover if you like. Or power up. Low, low, low. And power up. You can do it one time. Keeping your weight equal in both legs. Or you can do it as many as you like. But I'm ready for a sip of water. So if you are too or even if you're not, humor me, and step to the side and engage your core. Lean to the side, have a little sip of water. We're gonna use our hand weight first. So take your time, grab it. We're gonna do a series, remember, when we combine two or sometimes even three movements, you have options. You can do one, two, all three, or none. The goal is to reach a point where you feel like stopping without any sharp, sudden shooting pains, okay? So come to the side of your chair. We're gonna do a little one-armed row. We'll want the weight on our lap in our right hand with the left hand supporting on the chair and the right hip just off of the edge. See if you can hinge forward to get that foot back and dig in with both feet to see how it feels to begin to get up in this lunge split stance. That will work for many of us because of arthritis in our toes or feet or hips. But if it suits you, that's an option to just pretend to get up and strengthen your hips and legs. Now, Sit tall, elongate the spine, take your left hand on your lap or your chair, stretch your right arm out, stretch your spine out on a dagger. Reach for those left toes and row. Good, one arm row. If you've got a goodly amount of weight in that right hand, this is a great upper back, rear shoulder, bicep strengthener. If you want, you can add that pretend getting up, keep the spine long, or you can get all the way up and then tap down or just use your safe, comfortable range of motion. It's best to keep that spine long, brace with those abdominals, and breathe. I like to imagine I'm blowing myself upward. You can stay seated, but do your best. Maybe two more reps. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Feel them getting stronger. All right, we're gonna do the other side. 
but in between, let's get some core work. Sit that jug right on your lap. Sit at the edge, front edge of your seat. Pull the navel in, zip up your tightest trousers and lean back. Slide up. Feel gravity working to strengthen our abdominals. Pull the navel in, breathe as you come up. Now, if you want, you can add a little bit of resistance by holding that weight closer to your heart. You can cradle it, you can hug it. Whatever you do, make sure it works for you and you keep that brace on the abdominals. Now, if you want, you can add a little bit of a overhead press to the lowest of three shelves, to the medium shelf, or if it feels good, all the way up. Power up, if you like. Ease on down. Pull that navel in. Feel the strong contraction at the belly area. Now, I'm going to try my best four more, but you do however many you like. Are you breathing? Are you pain free but feeling a little bit of muscle fatigue? That's good. All right, let's do this other one arm row. Scoot yourself over to the left side of your chair. Support your spine with that brace in the elongated spine posture. An arm on the uh, chair. Knees that left leg back. Test that digging the balls of your feet in. Pretending to get up. See how that feels for you on this side because it's not going to be the same as the other side. Now, keep supporting on this right lap or the chair. Stretch out the left arm. Reach for the right toes. Row. Breathe and keep the abdominals braced and the spine long and strong. And see how it feels to dig your toes in. Navigate that if you like. You can come all the way up or part way. You can support on your thigh or the chair. You can come all the way up, but do it at your own pace. Do it your own way. At the top, squeeze the shoulder blades together. How about just two more? Breathe and relax. Woo! That was good. All right. We're going to return that. Stepping to the side, leaning to the side. Tuck it under the chair or get it out of your way. Another sip of water. Hope you're feeling good. Today it just happens to be a kind of a warm sunny day and I wanted to remind you how important it is to be getting outside whenever we can for that fresh air, that sunlight. It does more than just, well it does so much more for every system in our body. We have a, a gland that birds use to navigate, pineal gland, and it is stimulated and as are some hormones in our body when we get out in the fresh air and the sunlight. And it's very good for our emotional level. Even more so if you can make a, a, a walking tape with a friend or just sitting out in the fresh air if it's warm and you're bundled up to chat from say 10 feet or so with your masks on. That's also very important for our emotional well-being. Okay. So, but we must take care of our heart and lungs. And do you know when we get aerobic activity, it helps us to create feel-good hormones. Yes. So let's get a dose of skating and flying. And whether you're doing it in your chair or up in the air, just feel good while moving. Go at your own pace. Make it yours. Those of you who want to stand up, go ahead, get right in behind your chair. I'm going to demonstrate it from the chair, sitting at the edge of your seat. We'll allow you room behind your feet, 
and be an active sitter. So lengthen your spine, whether you're standing behind the chair or seated in the chair. We're gonna skate for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now lift your heels and fly. There you go. Four more, three, two. Now skate for eight, seven, six. This is a big one if you want more. Three, two, and fly. Good, how many more? Four, three, two. Let's skate for eight, eight, seven, six. Got our chair if we need it for balance. Good, now fly. You can keep one hand on your chair the whole time or both. Four, three, two. Let's cut it down for fours in our skating. And flying. Four, three, two. Skate. Four, three, two. Fly. I'm going to transition to my feet. Skate. And fly. I bet you know what's coming next. How about twos? Skate. Fly. Skate, fly, you can go low, low with your skate, high, high when you fly, but just go at your own pace. Let's do one of each, skate, fly, do your best. How about four more? Four, up, three, up, two, up, now freeze. Hold that navel in, stretch the crown of your head up, little flutter with your flying. Woo! Now let's come to our skate pose. And freeze. Little flutter. Good. March it out. I hope you felt good. All right. We did that starting with our right leg because when we got to the end you might have noticed it was sort of one-sided. If you like, let's balance that out. And start out super slow with our left leg this time. So we get on the left side and the right. Are you with me? Let's try it at four more slow. Three, two, at tempo, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Heels up, fly, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Skate for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, five. Remember, you've got your chair there if you need it, but pull the navel in and head high. Skate for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Now for four, three, two, and fly. Four, three, two, skate. Four, three, two, and fly. And skate. Last set of fours. Four, three, two. How about just two of each? Skate. Now fly. Good, skate, fly, skate, fly, excellent, how are you doing, how are you doing on our scale of 1 to 10, can you talk, are you in our happy medium training zone, I hope so, if not, do your best and then slow down or sit down. Are you ready to go to singles? Whoop! Cross back, up, skate, fly. Excellent! How about four more of these? Four, three, two. We got our chair. Balance, freeze. Pull the spine up, up, up. Pull the navel in and in. Little flutters. And then come to our skate pose. Flutter and relax. How are you doing? 
If you want to stretch those hips or those calf muscles for a moment before we return to our chair for our strength training, we can come to the right side here and push into that right hip. Knees straight but not locked. Or through the side. Ooh. Likewise with the other side. If you need to come to the left side of your chair, take your time. Now we can walk that right foot back and stretch the heel, pressing it down to the ground behind us and leaning forward. And then the other leg, gradually walk the left heel back, 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 paste it on the ground. Lean forward. Ah, good. That helped bring our breathing and our heart rate down a bit as well as lengthening our muscles before we strengthen them because strengthening is short. And our best strength exercise uses our own body weight. So our body weight squats. Of course, if you wanted to, you may have progressed. You may need to add some extra weight. So that will indeed be an option that we're gonna add on if you choose with our next set of strength work. It will involve a couple sets of squats. These are optional. We're going to be using our tube. Step the side. Gather up your tube or your flat elastic band. You may have seen these lately. I saw them in the Yellow Springs Dollar Store. Hey, shop local. I also have a bunch more. So. Don't hesitate to open up your little red book from Yellow Springs News. Look me up, Lynn Hardman. I'm on Whitehall Drive, okay? There's a lot of Hardmans in the book. <laughs> Sooner or later, you'll get the right one. Okay, sit at the edge of your chair. I'm sorry, sit back in your chair. Make sure your heels are actually touching the chair so that if you choose to, you can add your squat. Let's just practice that part first. Dig your heels and all 10 toes into your feet, into the floor, I mean. Keep your weight as much as you can equal in both legs. We, we sometimes favor a side, but do your best. Now, grabbing your tubing, about shoulder width apart, see how it feels to reach up on an angle to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Shoulders in your back pockets, stretch that tube apart, squeeze your elbows down towards the back legs of your chair, and then reach up, keep the tension in your tube to where the, the wall and the ceiling meet. And this is a row, sort of a diagonal row. Now, if you like, your hips will be down when your hands are up, and you can add that. Standing up, tucking your hips under, squeezing, and reaching back with the hips. Squats with an overhead diagonal row. This rowing motion, you could be doing the lat pull down, which strengthens your latissimus dorsi, and the rear shoulders, a lot of the upper back muscles. You could be doing that as well as the biceps. You could simply do the squats without the lat pull downs if your shoulders are not feeling it. And you can put them both together. And the other option is to just stop when you feel like you've done your best. <sighs> Good, all right. Let's do sort of an opposite of that movement. Come to the front edge of your chair. Take your tubing. Put it behind your upper back so that it comes out underneath your arms. And let's put the desired amount of tension on this. If you like, we're going to do a little push-up, an air push-up or a chest press. You can grab the tubing closer to your shoulder. See how it feels to push, keeping the wrist straight, straightening the elbows. And then come back, bending the elbows, opening your chest. Close your chest and curl the spine, fold the navel in. 
So this is a chest press for your fronts of your shoulders, the chest muscles, and the triceps. Let's take a break from that. Pull the navel in, tuck the tailbone under, and lean back. If you want, you can do an abdominal slide. Just these rearmost inches of the movement that keep the abdominal pulling inward, engaged, and breathing. Or you could combine the two. Push. Exhale as you slide up, but not too far. Inhale as you slide back. That's tricky. If you want, you could add a leg extension. Or you could just do the leg extension. We're doing singles. Let's try four each side. Four. Lifting that leg if we like. Three. Pulling the navel in. Two. We could be doing just one or all three of these. Switch legs. Four. Pull the navel in. Three. Two, woo, one, okay, how did that feel? I hope good. We're gonna wrap it up, doing a little bit briefer of a class today, because as I mentioned, I'm expecting company. <laughs> now, I know traveling isn't exactly the safest thing. Let's get a sip of water. Unless you do it the safe way, you get a, a reliable gold standard uh, COVID test three days before travel ideally you hop in your car with your little bubble of beloved people and you drive to see your grandmother and then you stay in one place and have a lot of fun and then you do the same before you hop in your car and you drive back to New York City <laughs> there's a way to do things we just have to be smart and careful and remember, the benefits must outweigh the risks. Okay, we've done our two sets of strength work. We've done our two sets of aerobic activity. I think we can build a little bit more balance and maybe some agility too. So, if you want, you can do this pattern in your chair, but it's a little bit more relevant on our feet. I look outside my window and I see three of my neighborhood elders that get together regularly for a walk and it just warms my heart. I hope you're doing similar things. It's hard sometimes to reach out, but don't wait. Do it today. You'll, you'll be glad. Okay, so we're going to do this little agility pattern and we'll add some balance to it. It's just our out, out, in, lift. Oh, out to the left, out to the right, in to the middle, lift and balance. Out, out, are you with me? In and lift, a little bit faster. Out, out, and lift, out, out, and lift. Out, out, and lift. If you're standing, you want to be kind of behind your chair. In, woo! Out, out, and lift. I have to say it. This is making our brain as well as our feet more agile. Out, out, and lift. Out, out, and lift. Lift, out, out, and lift. So it helps you think about a wide stance. Okay, one more, and let's take a break. I'm going to see if I can transition that to my feet. And then we might even try a little faster. Let's start super slow to the right. Out. Out. Good. In. Lift. Out to the left. Out in our wide stance. In. Lift. A little faster. Out, out, in, lift. Out, out, in, lift. Lift. Good. You think we could try it even faster? Let's try it. Out, out, and lift. Out, out, and lift. Out, out, and lift. Out, out, and lift. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, a little harder than I meant for it to be. <laughs> but 
You've got us on our feet. And we're gonna do one more balancing act and a strengthening act. Strength is the biggest part of our balance equation. Feet and ankles especially. So let's come to the right side of the chair with a neutral stance. Let's see how it feels to come up to the balls of our feet. And just balance. If that was fine, come on down into your triple flexion. This time, use your chair. Stand up tall, lift your toes, strengthening your shins. Tuck your tailbone under. Balance. Ooh, that's hard, strengthening the fronts of our lower legs, the shins. All right, one more time, but this time, see if you can come to a toe heel stance. Right leg in front of the left, and come up to your tippy toes. Pull the navel in, see if you can balance. And then come down into your triple flexion. See if you can pull your toes up and balance on your heels. Ooh, that's hard. Got our chair. All right, last set. Left foot in front of the right. Stand tall. You can introduce some width there or go back to your neutral stance. And see how it feels to come up to the balls of your feet. Tuck the tailbone under, squeeze your hips. Sometimes it helps to pull your inner thighs together for your balance. And balance just for a moment. Come down to the ground, bend your hips, knees, and ankles into that triple flexion. And see how it feels to pull your toes up. This one's hard, strengthening the shins, strengthening your balance. See if you can do it. This one's hard. You've always got your chair. You can bring your feet back down to terra firma or step out. Those are good strategies for safety wherever you go, is to have an assistive device before you need it. Have a plan before you need it. It will increase your confidence. The other thing is to have strategies that include one, two, or three things. So stepping out and lowering your weight towards the ground should you feel out of balance or about to fall. And that, this will lower your center of gravity and your risk of getting injured. You can practice those step outs and moving through your greatest comfortable range of motion. Have a seat, have a sip of water. Sometimes just having a plan in your mind and rehearsing it in your, in your mind, this mindfulness, is the best strategy of all. So just having like a, a, a coping mechanism is what you might call it if you're just thinking of emotions or human relations, but a, a strategy or a plan if it's a more physical thing. And often it's, it's, it's a blend. There's nothing really in this world that sits on an island all by itself. If 2020 didn't teach us anything, well, it, it, I hope it taught us that we are human beings, all of us. In every country on the planet, we need each other, we rely on each other. We are a global community. We have to act very locally, mindfully, to make the world a better place in 2021. All right, let's slow down our music and slow down our breathing, slow down our heart rate, slow down our thoughts, and restore. Earlier, I think I tried to make the point, but I cut my sentence off, <laughs> about the most important part of our training is to recover, to restore, to rest. We don't get adequate rest. Our body cannot recoup what it needs to maintain and sustain good overall health. So let's just take a few moments to take a few mindful breaths, inhaling through your nose if you can. You can sit back in your chair to support your spine and exhaling through your
your mouth gently pursed lips as if you're blowing out a little candle relax your hands in your lap relax your neck your shoulders down take a deep breath fill your lungs from the bottom to the top exhale and release relax your eyes and close them or direct your gaze lower just take a few more deep effortless energizing breaths just like that we can lower our heart rate lower our breathing rate mindfully and it is a skill a tool if you would in your toolkit that you can hone with practice should you get out of breath should you feel over anxious and it will serve you well all right let's turn sideways in our chair use that same mindful breathing technique as you hinge forward Ease that left leg back, left hip just a little off the edge of the chair, left knee drifting down, breath rising from the abdomen up to the chest, reaching high if it feels good, opening the spine, or not, as my friend Rena Joyce Appel sometimes likes to say. In 2021, we're hoping to add her to our Community Access Yellow Springs lineup. She's already doing a great job at the Senior Center. So we're hoping to find more ways to provide more options safely to you in your home. Because we know it's going to be a little while longer before we're able to get together and have in-person classes safely. But there's good news on the horizon. We just have to stick with our great strategy. You can have that toe tucked under as you turn the other way, or I like to let it just relax, toe back. Let that right knee drift down toward the ground. Inhale up, lift the spirits, lift the heart, open your spine, and as you exhale, clean into your chair, stretching through the right side of your body. Take another deep, effortless breath, feel those torso mu muscles open up, and ease on that. Excellent. Turning, facing forward, sort of towards the edge of front edge of your chair, and let's stretch those hamstrings. Supporting on the left, stretching up. Keep the long, strong spine as your arm drifts down toward that right leg, but your chin and your head stay up above the level of your heart. Lift your toes towards the ceiling. Breathe, reach your tailbone back. Stay here for another energizing breath. Feel your belly expand towards your lap. That's good. That means you're using the full capacity of your lungs. As you exhale, stretch your tailbone back, toes towards your nose, whether you can touch them or not. Sit tall, pull the navel in, lean back into your chair, and draw the knee closer to the chest. If it feels good, exhale and let the forehead come towards the knee. It may or may not touch. And you could circle that right ankle one way and then the other. 
can use the weight of that leg to sit up and perhaps your figure four stretch is best with the right ankle on top of the left thigh or you might be more comfortable with that right ankle in front of the left ankle. Either way, we're hinging forward with a long spine and just gently coaxing the outside of the knee toward the floor. Stretching that hip rotator cuff. And then we'll try those hamstring and hip stretches on the left. Sit tall, support on the right thigh. If your shoulder is not happy being extended overhead, shorten and soothe, but keep the spine long and strong as you hinge forward. Let that arm rest somewhere on your lap, knee, shin, ankle, or toes. Whatever your limb likes and flexibility permit. As you inhale, fill your belly first. Feel it expand towards your right leg. That's good. That's tactile feedback that you're expanding your lungs down near the bottom. Many of us don't utilize that lower part of the lungs and it's good to exercise that. Pull the navel in like you're zipping up tight pants. Draw the knee toward the chest drawing little circles or big flowy ones one way or the other and if you like if it's comfortable you can let the forehead bow gently toward that knee it doesn't have to touch and use the weight of that left leg to sit yourself up and you can find your favorite figure four stretch Sitting tall, hinging forward, keeping the length in our spine, gently coaxing the outside of that left knee toward the ground. Take your time. Oh, I always feel so much better after I've moved at my own pace. I hope you do too, and I hope you stick with it. If you're having trouble getting motivated, phone a friend, make a virtual date to do this class, or, or better yet, a walk on the days that you don't do these exercises, or if you have enough energy, do them both. I just wish you a happy new year. And I hope you keep it safe and simple and continue moving. Keep coming back to your community access Yellow Springs and keep it safe and simple. Bye for now.